When I was first starting out in data science, I had this note on my phone where I would write down all the skills I needed to learn every time I found out about some new tool or method. I was working really hard to study everything on the list, but the list only kept growing, which made me feel super stressed out that I'd never be able to learn enough to get a job. To make matters worse, looking back now, I wasted a ton of time learning skills that haven't come up at all in the six years that I've been working in the field. So to make sure this doesn't happen to you, I analyzed 2,244 data science job postings to figure out what skills employers are actually looking for in 2025. In this video, we're breaking it all down. First, I'll reveal the core skills that come up over and over again in job postings. Then we'll get into how these skills shift depending on job level, from internships to executive roles. And don't worry, we're going to tackle the big question that's on everyone's mind right now. Do you actually need generative AI skills or is it all just hype? By the end of this video, you'll know exactly where to focus your energy to land a job in data science, whether you're just starting out or looking to level up. Let's get into it. Before we dive into the findings, let me tell you a little bit about the data we're working with. I scraped 2,240 four data science job postings from LinkedIn in December of 2024. And then I used an LLM to extract the primary skills from the postings. The job span 1,089 different companies across 495 unique English speaking locations worldwide, but they're mostly in North America and Europe. In terms of seniority, we're looking at jobs across the entire career spectrum, from internships to executive positions, so we can understand how skill requirements evolve as you progress in your career. Let's start with the big picture. Across all levels and geographies, what skills do employers actually want? First up, Python. It's not even close. Python appeared in 1,920 job postings, which is over 85% of all the listings. In my opinion, this kind of settles whatever remains of the R versus Python debate. While 714 jobs did mention R, only 12 mentioned only R and not Python. So unless you're going for some super niche academic role, I would just learn Python and pick up R later if you need it in your career. The next most in-demand skills might surprise you. While machine learning comes in second at 1,527 mentions, communication skills are right up there in third place with 1,400 35 mentions, nearly tied with statistics. This completely aligns with what I'm seeing as a career coach and on hiring panels at Amazon. The people who succeed have strong technical skills, of course, but it's almost more important that they're strong communicators who can express themselves well and explain their work clearly to a variety of audiences. The next tier of skills is interesting too. We see data science itself with 1,163 mentions, data analysis a little under that, and data visualization a little under that all clustered very closely together. This tells us something important. Employers are still looking for those kind of classic data science skills with more of an analytical bent. So it's not all about building models. Moving back to the tech stack, SQL came in with 1,088 mentions, showing up in about half of postings. This isn't surprising given how fundamental database skills are to data science work. After that, we see a bucket for soft skills. This is where I kind of bucketed all the more specific social skills like taking initiative, attention to detail, empathy, adaptability. These show up in over 800 postings, and that's not even counting the communication skills we talked about. And right after that, we have problem solving. This all goes to show that while your technical skills are super important, alone, they're not enough to get you a job. After these core skills, we see a mix of specific tools and applications like NLP, Big Data, Tableau, and AWS. One question I get asked relatively frequently in my coaching work is which cloud provider to focus on. I've always defaulted to AWS since it's the largest in terms of market share, and that looks like it's borne out in the data as well. AWS is mentioned in 486 postings, while Azure is next at 326, and GCP is way down at 248. So if you're new and trying to learn some cloud skills, just stick with AWS for now. Another thing that stood out in the data is the positioning of Java. While it appears in 379 postings, which is a lot more than I expected, it's important to note that it's almost always listed alongside Python, not as an alternative. Looking at some of the postings, it seems like Java was just adding to kind of a general list of programming languages that might be relevant, but it wasn't listed as the primary language that they're seeking. So I think the takeaway here is not to get too hung up on it if you don't know Java already. Start with Python and learn from there in the future if it's needed for your role. Now here's something that might surprise you. With all the hype around AI, you'd think new technologies would show up at the top of the list, but general AI skills show up in just 447 postings, with deep learning at 401 and LLMs even lower at 290. So while these are valuable and emerging areas, they're not yet the primary focus for most data science roles. We'll go into way more detail on this topic, like which gen AI skills you should be prioritizing at the end of the video. Lastly, something that stood out in the data is the inclusion of very specific skills like Docker, Jenkins, and Spark. Though those are near the bottom of the list in terms of frequency. At most, they're around 10 to 15% of postings. Now, when I was just starting out, I got really hung up on trying 
trying to learn everything, including every new tool, thinking these were kind of must-haves to get a job. But in reality, these are either more relevant for specialized roles or something that you can learn on the job. So if you're just starting out, you don't need to overwhelm yourself by learning all of these at once. Instead, focus on the core skills, so Python, SQL, machine learning, and statistics, and pick up tools like Docker or Jenkins when your role requires them. Let's dive into how skill requirements evolve across different career stages. What's interesting is that while some core skills remain consistent, there are distinct patterns at each level that can kind of help to guide your career development. Looking at the numbers first, I analyzed 112 internships, 604 entry-level positions, 123 associate roles, 1,056 mid-senior level, 20 director roles, and five executive. The rest were marked not applicable. This distribution tells us something important. The bulk of opportunities are at the mid-senior level, suggesting that while breaking in might be challenging, there's significant room for growth once you're in the field. Let's start with internships. Interestingly, machine learning tops the list here, even ahead of Python, appearing in almost 90% of internship postings. This is followed by data analysis and SQL, suggesting that companies want interns who can handle core analytical tasks as well. What's notable is that soft skills and problem solving also make the top 10, indicating that even at the internship level, technical skills alone are not enough. For entry-level positions, we see a little shift. So Python takes the lead, but data visualization jumps to second place. This is a significant change from what we see at other levels. But this makes sense because junior data scientists often need to analyze data or communicate findings effectively before they take on more complex modeling work. Java and software engineering skills also appear more prominent prominently, suggesting that many entry-level roles have a software engineering component. Looking at this data, I wouldn't be surprised if what we're seeing is more of a specialization split in entry-level roles, with some more engineering focused and some more on the analytical side of things. The associate level starts looking like your standard data science role. Python and machine learning claim the top spots, with statistics and communication close behind. What's notable here is that data visualization drops significantly in priority compared to entry-level positions. The focus appears to shift more towards technical work. Mid-senior level is about the same as associate, which makes sense given that the boundaries between what makes someone associate versus mid-senior level are kind of like fuzzy. Now we're looking at director level positions, but keep in mind this data set is super small. Looking at the data, the core data science skills remain, but with the inclusion of leadership and more specialized technical skills like AI, NLP, big data, and deep learning. While we might expect management skills to dominate at this level, the data show that technical expertise remains crucial even for higher ups in the field. At the executive level, we have just five postings, but we see a little bit of a shift in priorities here as well. AI takes center stage, appearing in four out of five postings. Python and machine learning follow closely, but but interestingly, we see equal emphasis on crucial leadership elements like team management, client management, mentoring, and problem solving. This suggests that executive roles require a balanced mix of AI strategic vision, technical literacy, and leadership capabilities. But of course, it's five positions, so take it with a grain of salt. Overall, the key takeaways from this seniority progression are maybe a little bit different from what you might expect. Entry-level roles heavily emphasize Python and data visualization, suggesting companies want people who can start delivering insights really quickly. As you move to associate and mid-senior levels, machine learning and statistics gain prominence, while visualization becomes less critical. This reflects a shift towards more complex technical work. At the director level, surprisingly, machine learning and Python still lead the requirements, showing that technical credibility remains crucial even in leadership positions. There's also more emphasis on specialization at this level as well. Finally, the executive level brings a clear pivot. AI strategy kind of takes precedence, though maintaining technical literacy remains important. Leadership skills also share equal footing with technical knowledge at this level. This is quite different from many traditional career paths where technical skills become less relevant as you advance. In data science, it seems you don't leave the technical work behind, but rather folks tend to specialize and add layers of strategic and leadership skills on top of the technical foundation. Now let's talk about generative AI. With all the hype around AI-driven applications and LLMs, you might think that every data science job requires Gen AI skills, but the data tell a different story. Looking at our overall numbers, only about a third of data science jobs mention any AI skills at all, and the numbers for specific AI skills are, of course, even lower. Lower. General AI skills show up in about 20% of jobs, LLMs in 12%, and generative AI specifically in 13%. More specialized skills like transformers and prompt engineering are barely mentioned at all. Also, even when companies do mention AI skills, they're usually listed after traditional fundamentals like Python, statistics, and machine learning. This suggests that while Gen AI is becoming important, it's seen as an additional skill rather than a core requirement. So while AI skills are clearly important and growing, the data suggests that you shouldn't panic about learning every new tool that comes out. Instead, the job market is telling us that strong fundamentals are still what matters most. That said, I did see kind of an interesting trend in job titles. We're starting to see roles specifically focused on Gen AI, like Gen AI data scientist. These specialized positions might become more common in the future, but for now, they're still a small part of the overall market. The bottom line is that yes, learning about Gen AI is valuable, and it might give you an edge in your job search. But don't let hype distract 
distract you from mastering fundamentals. Companies are still primarily looking for data scientists who can write good code, understand statistics, and build solid machine learning models with more traditional methods. So what have we learned from analyzing over 2,000 data science job postings? Three main takeaways. First, fundamentals matter most. Despite all the new technologies and buzzwords, companies are still primarily looking for people who know Python, statistics, and machine learning. These core skills remain consistent whether you're applying for an internship or director position. Second, soft skills matter a lot. Communication and problem solving in particular, but taking initiative, collaboration, and creativity are also critical. This is a reminder not to skimp on practice time for behavioral interviews. Third, while emerging technologies like Gen AI are important, they're not replacing traditional skills. They're just adding to them. So don't let hype distract you from building a solid foundation. Think of new technologies as tools you can add to your toolkit, not complete career redirections. So that's it for the skills needed to be a data scientist in 2025. My next video will be all about the skills for machine learning engineers. So make sure to subscribe if that's something you'd like to see. Also, if you want help breaking into data science, I have a comprehensive roadmap on how to go from a complete beginner to your first data scientist job in one year. It's available as a free 80-page ebook at the link in the description or an hour-long video up next. See you next time.